Did Framer just kill Figma? Because what I'm about to show you is wild. For years, designers have been bouncing between different tools, designing in one place, developing in another, and it's slow, it's clunky, and to be honest, it kills creativity. But Framer just dropped a brand new feature called Design Pages, which allows you to design freely on an open canvas without worrying about device sizes. You can just riff ideas and let your creativity flow in one place, and then with one click, promote promote those pages directly into Framer web pages. This could change the game forever. So let's take a look at it and see if Framer has really made Figma obsolete. We've all been there before. We've designed our website over in Figma and we export those frames into Framer using the awesome plugin experience. And we pray to the web design and Framer gods that everything translates from one place to another. This is actually an example of the greater issue with the modern web design and no code web design flow. We design in one place, we ideate, we explore creatively and riff ideas, and then we translate and build in a totally separate platform or tool. Well, no longer do we have to do that because that creates a lot of context switching, lost time, handoff, and translation issues between the two. Now we can do it all in one place using Framer design pages. Let me show you how. Here we are in the Framer interface that we know and love. I'm immediately dropped into a fresh page that has a desktop size and I can create new breakpoints for my tablet and phone. And while yes, Framer is an infinite canvas and I can move around and design over here, the mental model makes me feel that I'm locked into these specific sizes, that I'm designing specifically in the page and everything that's here has to pretty much be final. It has to go in and feel right. And again, while that may not be the case, it feels like that and the way that we feel actually dictates the way that we explore and iterate it limits our creative freedom but not anymore now right above the pages section underneath where we can find the pages layers and assets toggle we have a new section called design if you click and open that up you can see i've already created a couple of new pages this is a design page i've just titled design another one called site assets and another one called design riffs i can create new pages really easily by clicking plus but when I click inside of one, I am free of that immediate breakpoint, that desktop breakpoint that makes me feel like I need to have everything final on the canvas. Now I can just explore. I can hit F for frame, drag out a frame, resize that to be something like 1200 to match what could be a desktop. And now I can start playing with layout. Maybe I want to draw a rectangle on my screen. Maybe I want to hit P for path and put a really cool kind of like path there and play with that, explore some color. And maybe this is my layout. Maybe I want to change it a little bit though. I can grab that frame, drag it over and start riffing my ideas a little bit more. Maybe I want it to be like this or like that. I can drag another version over. And this is a really simple example of the riffing and creative exploration process that all of us as designers go through. You have to go through it for your inspiration to be stirred up. The first version is never usually the best version. You have to riff until you find something you like. And now we can, we can riff away on different ideas. Let's jump back in and take a look at another page called Site Assets. I've pulled in a bunch of assets, things that I've pulled from the web, images, elements from elsewhere. I made a quick text lockup here that you might use in a hero, and I dragged out a couple of rectangles and filled them with a potential color palette. I want to use these to build out a website, and I totally can. I can simply come in here and grab any of these assets that I want to copy over, bring those with me back into my design page. I'm going to delete everything that we see here, draw a new frame, and let's set that to be something like 1200, and we have a fixed size here or a height. Now I feel like I'm just riffing ideas. Why don't we paste those items on the page, and just like a design tool like Figma, I can start designing the way that I see fit. Maybe I wanted to have a image based hero. Why don't we drag this out and fill the space? Maybe I want to bring my text lock up in. Maybe I want the background to be this color. I can grab my fill and fill it with orange. Now we're starting to design a hero section and you can do this in real time very quickly. Maybe I don't like this version. Great, let's riff over here, go to our site assets, grab something different, like maybe a different image. Come back into design, get rid of this, we don't need that. Why don't we pop in this fella right here, re-grab our text, and paste it in. 
This experience already feels much more like a free-formed design tool. My creativity is flowing and I can actually explore the way that I'm supposed to. And just like I created pages for my assets, maybe I want a separate page to start exploring different iconography. I can create a new page here and title it icons. Inside of that, I might actually just open up something like icons and use one of my favorites like phosphor. I could drag that in, zoom in on it. Let's turn that white really quickly. And why don't we just scale this up so I can see it a little bit better. And maybe I wanna start creating a selection of icons and exploring icons. Why don't I grab that? And uh, I'll just start selecting a series of icons that I might want to use. Let's drag a couple more of these out. Great, I'm exploring iconography and starting to create a bit of a library for myself that I might end up using later. The sky's the limit, there's all sorts of options here, but let me show you an example of a design riff page that I've created. I've created that layout using all of my assets previously, and I created one version, and then I started riffing on it. Maybe I don't wanna box it in and let things overlap. Maybe I wanna bring in some cool path. I think I could animate that later inside of Framer. What if we did a similar thing and flipped my, my character here around so he's facing the other way? I can play with things like Z index and the spacing by moving things up and back simply using the the properties over here in the panel and I can freely move things around because some elements are absolutely positioned that feels good I can start to move around text inside of here and play maybe I want to try an entirely different layout here using a different image more center aligned I really like that image so I went back to something like this left aligned with a full image now if I like any of these this is where the power comes into play. I've riffed, I've explored, I've experimented, and I found an option that I really, really like. It's hero number three. I wanna turn that into my first page. So I'm just simply gonna come up and right click and click create web page. It immediately shoots me over to a brand new page using the design that I had. And I'm pretty confident that this is gonna work responsively because when I came back here to all of my riffs and ideas, I'm able to really easily start to expand and reduce the size here to see how it's gonna play well responsively. When I come back over to my hero, I can start to create those different breakpoints like my tablet and my phone, and I can start to come in and tweak and change the sizes. Start to pair this with your responsive typography, scalable typography, and you get an experience that allows you to explore, riff, and finally play again as a designer. But the moment that I'm ready and I'm done playing, it's time to get serious. I turn it into a web page, and that is Framer Design Pages. We've hit the end of the video, and it's time to ask the big question, is this the Figma killer? Well, for me, when it comes to web design, I've always Always dreamed of a singular solution that would allow me to design, explore, experiment, riff, develop, publish, and then pass off websites to clients. And for the past few years, I've been using Framer to do that, but was always missing this one little piece, this gap, the riffing, the design exploration part, and now it has arrived. So for me, Framer is that one-stop shop where I can do all of those things in one place and feel really, really good creative and successful about it. When it comes to other forms of design like marketing design, UI, UX, digital product design, I still think Figma is a great solution for those things and I will continue to use it for those types of design. But when it comes to web design, Framer's my end all be all. It's 100% perfect for me. But what do you think? I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. Is this a Figma killer for you when it comes to web design? Maybe, maybe not. I'd love to hear your thoughts and your opinions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell so you know when more videos like this one come out, and we will see you in the next one, Design Champs.